I love to share some of the magic of dairy farming. So when visitors come to my farm, I like to tell them a story of how we look after the cows to produce the milk to fill a glass like this one. Every day, twice a day, my cows come in to be milked. But when people come to visit, I don't bombard them with facts and figures. I let them watch and listen and see the cows being milked. If they've got any questions, they can ask me afterwards. When people see the milking, one of the most frequently asked questions is how much milk do the cows produce? So, every day, every cow produces how much? Is it this much? No, it's this much. By having milk bottles, people can see how much milk it is that every cow produces every A, because we've got 30 individual bottles. When visitors come to my farm, I like to give them a bit of a biology lesson too. So this is why I've drawn up my cow calendar. This demonstrates what each cow does every year. So in September, she'll have her calf, which is what starts her producing milk. Then come December, she'll get pregnant again, and she'll milk all the way around until July, when she'll stop milking and she'll have two month break before she calves again in September to start milking. So these calves behind us are last year's September born heifer calves. So they'll start milking when they're two years old. But I have to remember to be careful when using words like heifer, people might not have heard that before. So it makes sense to explain what a heifer is. So a female calf, which will come into the milking herd when she's two years old. Tasty, but it's not only liquid milk that we enjoy, there's all the other products that we make from milk as well. And I want everyone at home, including all these people driving past, to know how many different things milk's in. I like to give everyone a take home message. Every time they're enjoying some of these products, think of us dairy farmers and our cows.